Hi all! Welcome to Kindergarten and First Grade Math. I am so excited to see all your smiling faces, mathematicians, and I cannot wait to do some math with you today. My name is Mr. Watan, and I'm one of the kindergarten teachers at Rising Star Elementary, right here in Seattle Public Schools. I've missed all of my students, and I know that your teachers miss you very much too. However, we are very proud of you because we know that you're continuing your learning at home. Keep up the hard work. For this math lesson today, you'll need a couple of things. Your math brain, there it is. You'll also need a turn and talk partner. Somebody at home, maybe a friend, a cousin, a dad, or you can talk to a stuffy as a turn and talk partner. Like I have these two right here. I have Panda and I have Cheetah. These two will be my turn and talk partners, but no worries if you don't, because you know what? If you don't have a turn and talk partner at home, you can talk to me, Mr. Watana. I'll be listening in. All right, well, why don't we get started? I'm gonna put these two back and they'll come back to us when it's time for a turn and talk. But let's start with the goals. The kindergarten goal will be adding by counting on. And then the first grade goal is adding by making 10. These two goals go hand in hand. That means they pair up and they'll work with each other. Now, since we are doing kindergarten and first grade math, we'll have a lot of things to think about. But I think that we have something already that's making a connection because these goals are both about adding. Well, why don't we get started? I'm gonna call my turn and talk partners back. Panda, Cheetah, thank you for coming back. And we're going to do a couple of things. What are those couple of things? Well, we're gonna change things up from the last video. We are going to do an image to ponder first. And then we're going to do a math activity or a math game that you can play at home. And then after that, we're going to extend that math game so that we can give you a bit of a challenge, right? Yes, these mathematicians at home are very brilliant. I agree, Cheetah, they are. And we're going to get started with an image to ponder. Let me get that for you. Here we go. Okay, you two. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're going to be talking about this image to ponder. We have an image right here. And Mr. Watan is finding his positioning. There we go. There we go. Okay, we have an image here. What do you notice at home? Yeah, these two are also telling me the same thing. They notice red dots and blue dots. Now, hmm, what else do you notice about this image at home. Yeah, I hear you and I hear them too. We're saying or we're thinking that we can count these dots so that we can start our math brain. Well, why don't we get started? Um, Cheetah is telling me that we should count the red dots first. What do you think at home? Let's count with me. One, two, Three, four, five. We have five red dots. Hey, I'm gonna talk about this kindergarten goal here for a moment. I know I have five red dots and the kindergarten goal is adding by counting on. Well, I'm gonna add now to count and count on. Panda said we know that there's five on top. You got it at home too. Now we're gonna count on. So keep your five in your head and then we're going to count on the blues. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have ten dots. Hey, five and five make ten. We got that. Okay, I'm going to give you another image to ponder. You two, mm, think about... Think about another way to make 10. You two at home, think about another way to make 10 while I make the next image to ponder. Here we go. Hmm, okay. I wonder if the 
numbers that you're thinking of are what I'm drawing too. Here we go. Ready, Cheetah? Yes. Ready, Panda? Yes. Here we go. We have another image to ponder over, to think about when we're pondering, we're thinking. So here we go. I notice something. What do you notice at home? Hmm. Yeah. Cheetah is telling me that they notice more red. Panda is noticing that there are less blue. Hmm. Well, if we're going to talk about more and less, I am going to go back to this kinder goal, adding by counting on. Well, if we're adding by counting on, a good friend of mine back in Rising Star Elementary, Miss Rollins, told me that when you're adding by counting on, you should pick the bigger number first. So it looks like in this image, the bigger numbers would be the red. Hmm. So why don't we count the red first? Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six red dots. Well, okay, I'm gonna stop there because it already looks like we have the number that has more. So Miss Rollins is in my head right now and she's telling me, Mr. Watan, keep the six in your head and we're going to count on. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hey, we made 10. Did you realize, because Panda just reminded me, we didn't just do the kinder goal. We also did the first grade goal, adding by making 10. We did all that right here. So we had six, and then how many blue dots? One, two, three, four, six, and four. That makes 10 too. Now I'm gonna kick this up a notch and I'm gonna connect this to the activity. I'm going to take this marker and I'll try my best. I want to show you something. Take a look at this image. I'm going to change this image a bit by doing this. Yeah, I think a lot of you are telling me that I'm turning it into something, something very familiar, something that you might see in your classrooms. Ooh, stay here, Cheetah. Trying to get away. There you go. And boom. We made a 10 frame. That's right, mathematicians. We made a 10 frame. Now, I'm going to leave you with this image to ponder over. A 10 frame is a very useful math tool. And in fact, we're going to be talking about a 10 frame very soon down here. And that way, we're going to be doing the first grade goal and a kindergarten goal. We're going to be adding by counting on, and we're going to be adding by making 10. And what a great way to make a 10 other than making a 10 frame. We'll do that. Okay, so we have this image. Leave it there. Think about it. Mathematicians, keep it in your mind. Think about ways that you would make a 10 in that 10 frame. Now, I'm going to put these two back because I'm going to go back to the activity, and they might come back later. But I will talk about the activity now. The math activity today will be counting on, and then we might be making 10 too. But for this math activity, we will need counters, a cup, and some number cards. If you don't have those right now, don't worry. You can do those later. Play along with me. So we need counters. Hmm, hmm. Oh, I see some counters. I see some counters right here. This is a paper clip. A paper clip can be a counter. Mr. Watan left all of his counters at school. So instead of using those cubes that you might use as counters, I'm using paper clips today. I actually have a bunch of paper clips. Oh, paper clips. You will also need, I said, a counter, a cup. I got a cup right here. Cup any kind of cup. And let's see what else. Oh, that's right. We need number cards. Now I have some number cards that I made ahead of time right here and right here. But if you need to make number cards at home, no worries. Very simple to make. What you need is whatever kind of pieces of paper you have and something to write with. 
I'm going to choose to use this. It's a post-it and a marker. So I'm going to make the number one number card. So to make the number one, put the line down right there. We made a number one. And then on the back, I'm going to put two dots right here. One. Oh, that's, wait, why did I make two dots? Oh, Mr. Watan, you're thinking about counting on. No, Mr. Watan, we're just making the number one and I'm gonna make one dot right here. One big dot. There we go, one big dot. Oh, Mr. Watan is trying to get ahead by doing counting on already. We have the number one right here. I'm gonna put that down along with the others. And so we have counters, a cup, and count and number cards. The number cards, you're gonna shuffle that up. So I'm gonna take my number cards and shuffle mine up. There we go. Not gonna look at it. And we're going to start the game right now. Now, when we're playing this game, we're really gonna be attending to the kinder goal and the first grade goal. We're going to be adding during this game. And we're especially gonna be thinking about the kinder goal because we're gonna be counting on. So I'm going to pick one card Whatever number that is, I'm going to put that many counters in this cup, and then I'm going to pick another card and then add on. Let's show that. Here we go. I'm not looking. That's a number. Seven. That's right. I'm going to put it right here, and we're going to put that many counters in this cup. Can you count with me? Here we go. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. We have seven counters in this cup. Now I'm going to pick a different number and I'm not going to look. Here we go. What number is that? That's right. That's the number three. So I'm going to put this three right here because these three or this number three will stay out of the cup and I'm going to make three counters come up. One stay out of the cup. Two stays out of the cup. And one more. Three. We have three counters. Now I'm going to remember what my friend Miss Rollins told me back at Rising Star Elementary. She said that when we're counting on, we should pick the bigger number to keep in our head first and then count on with the smaller numbers. So can we add by counting on? Yes, we can, here we go. So we have seven, eight, nine, 10. Wait, we did both the kinder goal and the first grade goal. We made it to 10. We were adding by making 10. Wait, so seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, seven and then three, these make 10. Let's show that because mathematicians record their thinking. So I remember a seven and then, and so that's a plus three equals 10. I think that, especially in first grade, but kindergartners do, these, do this too. I think that we can use a 10 frame to show our thinking down here. Let's show that. I want to put seven dots and the, these seven dots are going to represent the dots that are in this cup. Let's count seven. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then we had three more dots so let's count three more one two three there we go did we make 10 in this 10 frame yes we did and we have seven and three make 10 or some mathematicians might say seven plus three equals 10. Wonderful job. Can you do another one with me? Okay, so I'm gonna take these counters out. I'm gonna put the seven back and the three back. 
I'm going to put it aside because I know I've already built those. So I'm going to build something else. Here we go. I'm going to pick another number. Number two. So since I have a number two now, I'm going to put that on top of the cup, or in the cup, and I'm going to count two counters. Here we go. One, two. We have two counters in this cup. Now I'm going to pick a different number card. We have eight. Eight. Now I have, I have to get eight counters out. So I'm going to put this two down so I can hold on to this and get eight counters. Can you count eight with me? Ready? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, and then I'm missing one more. Eight. Ooh, that's a lot of counters in my hand. If you can't quite fit it in your hand when you're counting, that's okay. You can put it down. And guess what? I can't fit it in my hand either. So I'm going to have to pick those up. Oh, no. There they are. One and two. So I have two and eight. But I remember that when we are counting on, adding by counting on, we should keep the bigger number in our minds first. So which one's which one is more, eight or two? Oh, these two are telling me, Panda and Cheetah are telling me that eight is bigger. Is that what you said at home too? Yes, it is. I heard that, mathematicians. Brilliant, brilliant thinking. So I have two here and eight here, but we're going to count on. We're going to add by counting on. So I'm going to keep the bigger number in my head first. So eight, and then count on two more. So I'm going to take these cup, these counters out of the cup. Eight, nine, ten. We have two and eight make ten. Should we record that thinking? I think we should. Here we go. So I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to say two because that was the first number. Plus and eight equals ten. Now, mathematicians, remember, we're going, to, we're going to represent our thinking using the 10 frame also. So I'm going to take these dots out for now, and then we're going to make 8, or 2, and then 8. So I'm going to take these dots. I'm going to take, 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 and then, oh, wait, I'm going to stop right here because this shows 2 already, and that shows 2, and then we're going to count on to make 10. Can you add by counting on? Yeah, you can. And can you add by making 10? Yeah, you can. So let's count eight more to make 10 from starting with two. Ready? Count with me. So that's two, three, four, five, six, that went away. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We show two and eight. I'm going to count the blues just to make sure. Count with me. Count the blues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did make two and eight, and that equals ten. That's right. So two plus eight equals ten. Well done, brilliant mathematicians. Now, I'm thinking, what if we pick two numbers, but they make something more than ten? That's right. We're going to the last part of our video now in our lesson. We are going to extend our thinking. We're going to extend our thinking. That means we're making our minds even more brilliant and we're going to work even harder to make our thinking brains really, really ready for math. So I'm going to move this 10 frame up a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Because I am ready to show you what happens if 
we pick numbers that are bigger, that make something bigger than 10. So let me take these dots out one more time, and then we're gonna make something, or we're gonna pick two cards, and hopefully the random cards that I pick will make something bigger than 10. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move this and this. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick a number card. Not looking. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Seven. We got seven. So if I have seven and I want to make seven, I'm going to put that right here in the cup and I'm going to count seven counters. Can you count seven counters with me? Yes, you can. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here we go, seven. Now I'm gonna count, or I'm gonna take one more number card, and hopefully that will make something bigger than set, uh, bigger than 10 when we add that to seven. Okay, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Four. I'm pretty sure seven and four make more than 10. Let's see, so I have seven right here, and I'm gonna take four counters. Put that right here, I'm gonna take four counters. One, two, three. I ran out of red counters, I might have to, ooh, lucky for me, I have one blue counter right here. Four, we make four. One, two, three, four. Yes, we did. So I have seven and four, hmm. Can we add by counting on? Yes, we can. So let's keep the bigger number in our minds. And which one is it? That's right, the seven. Seven is the bigger number. So I have seven. Keep that in your mind. Count on. Eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 is bigger than 10. So why don't we show that on the 10 frame? So I am going to say seven plus four. And then I'm pretty sure, oh, that number left my mind. So why don't we put that onto the 10 frame and see what that really is? So I'm going to start with seven. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fabulous. Now, and then there's four more outside of the cup. So let's count that. One, two, three, four. Hey, that's one more outside of the 10 frame. And I think I know what that is, but good mathematicians really think about and check their work and check the problems that they solve. So if I'm gonna count on, let me count on here. So seven is the red dots, eight, nine, 10. We added by making 10, so that's 10. And then one more. That's right, 11. So seven plus four equals 11. Way to go, mathematicians. Lots of great math thinking today. I am very impressed. Ooh, Mr. Rotom still had the number four there. Don't wanna be walking around with the number four on my chest all day. So I put that away. I encourage you to play this game at home. I wonder which number combinations you can make. Can you make four and six? Can you make two and eight? And what do those numbers make? What do they add up to? All right, mathematicians, keep learning, keep being awesome, and keep working hard. I want to say goodbye today in a way that my friend, Miss Brandt, taught me how to say goodbye in Italian. She went to Italy a couple of years ago, and she told me that when they say goodbye, they say ciao. So let's try that. Ciao.